watch on TV. Give me Jack Bauer. See for yourself. The VPN calls 24. So good, it's scary. Like a book you can't put down. Think about it. With more thrills and suspense in the four hours than most series pack into a single. Did not have a receiver, and uh, Garcia, who can scramble, managed to get the first down. Yeah, you're going to see Hank Basket pop wide open, but let's not forget that Jeff Garcia is running for his life through the defense. So, yeah, Hank, oh, it was wide open. I, I can't believe he couldn't find me. And a timeout called by the Saints, their first timeout. I want to remind you, coming up on the Visa Halftime Report, Kurt, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will have scores and highlights from around the league. <laughs> I don't know how many highlights from around the league. We know there's one game played earlier. The Colts beat the Ravens 15 to 6. And uh, well, you, like, you like field goals. There's some highlights going for you. Adam Benatari had five of them, tying an NFL postseason record. Second time he's done it. Defense wins championships. Touche. <laughs> you know it, Moose. Don't be coughing like that. How are you going to see that Chicago Bears defense tomorrow? And that Seattle Seahawks offense. First and goal. Ball at the nine. Garcia. Oh. Green to Westbrook, incomplete. Oh, my goodness. He had to walk in. What a great play. He gets it up over everybody. Brian Westbrook takes his eyes off the ball right at the last second. And I'm sure what he saw in front of him was a touchdown. That's right, right there. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I did that. And Will Smith, a little consolation pack. So it'll be second and goal. Slant, L.J. Smith, and he gets it to the goal line, and it was down before he could get over. So he gets to the one-yard line, and the free safety, Josh Bullocks. <laughs> Jeff Lurie. He's wondering why that's not a touchdown. I think you're going to see L.J. Smith's knee hit the ground before he does the stretch in the end zone. Let's take a look at this. Yep, down stretch. Find you a little bit of the Rams and Titans in the Super Bowl a few years ago. It'll be third down and goal. He wants him to take a look at Take a look at it up in the booth. And that would be a booth review, of course. Down. He's down. And a timeout call by the Eagles. It's their first timeout with 54 seconds remaining in the first half. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado Light. With up to 367 horsepower and 10,500 pounds towing capacity. Trucks with a rear door that can open 170 degrees. The best coverage in America. No wonder it's the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all new Chevy Silverado. This is our hey, Coach Mora! We're gonna throw a playoffs party in my backyard. Big screen TV, lots of cool refreshing cores light. You kidding me? No! We're even gonna play touch football with the neighbors. I don't care who you play. Coach, there's gonna be girls at our party. You think we should talk to them about the playoffs? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? Playoffs? Taste the cold of Coors Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL playoffs. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? Okay, okay. Don't talk Forget about I brought playoffs. Up. Get Taco Bell's big, beefy, tasty grilled stuff burrito with double the beef, three cheeses, and fiesta salsa all wrapped up in grilled to go for just a buck ninety-nine. To get unbelievable taste for an unbelievable price, think outside the bun. 
FedEx, proud sponsor of the FedEx Air and Ground NFL Players of the Year, presents this year's nominees through the air. New Orleans' Drew Brees had a lead-best 4,418 yards passing. The Colts' Peyton Manning had nearly 4,400 yards passing with 31 touchdowns. And the Bengals' Carson Palmer threw for over 4,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. Go to FedExFootball.com to vote for the FedEx Air and Ground NFL Players of the Year. Eagles call the time. I'm hoping there will be a review. There will be no review upstairs. So it'll be third down and goal as Garcia gets the team back into the huddle. And the official did a good job catching this at game speed. He goes down before he stretches that ball out towards the goal line. Down short. Ball is at the one. Hand off to Westbrook. And Westbrook goes in for the touchdown. So Brian Westbrook after uh, dropping the screen pass and an elated Jeff Lurie and the Eagles box upstairs cheering the Eagles score here. Third and short, get in behind, big Sean Andrews. Gives a little bit of separation right there, gives Brian Westbrook the opportunity to get up over the top. An 80-yard drive, 73 through the air and only seven on the ground. But the one got him into the end zone, so David Akers looking again to break the tie. So the Eagles take a 14 to 13 lead, 50 seconds remaining in the half. Want to remind you the Visa halftime report will be coming your way. Kurt, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will be there to discuss the. Uh, Dissect this first half. Winner of this game will play the survivor of tomorrow's game on Fox between the Seahawks and the Bears. What a year for Brian Westbrook last week, 141 yards rushing against the Giants. His career best. You know, he's he's picked up his production since Donovan McNabb has gone out of the lineup, but also asserted himself as a leader in that locker room, and maybe more important, you know, providing that leadership because you know that that's going to be one of the things that's going to be tough to fill when you lose a guy like Donovan McNabb. Today, Westbrook has carried six times for 11 yards, and it's been uh, an aerial show by the Philadelphia offense. They have had the receivers. Open throughout this half. There is that scoring drive, and Garcia hitting four of seven for 73. Akers to kick off. Again, Michael Lewis back. Running up to make the catch at the 10. And dragging defenders out close to the 35 yard line. A 25 yard return. 44 seconds remaining. This Drew Brees comes out once more, and he has been effective in the last two minutes of either half the season. In fact, that passer rating led the league. Seven touchdowns and only one interception. And Sean Payton is an aggressive play caller, so th there's no way that the Saints are going to come out and sit on this ball before halftime. Michael Lewis gives them good field position, a good job of catching that ball on the run to get out to the 35-yard line. And you never know what you're going to get from Sean Payton as we saw the outside kicks and on the... Strange times as he did against the Dallas Cowboys. Starting from the 35, Reese to Billy Miller. And Miller going out of bounds, so short of the first down by a couple. Tony Siragusa. Yeah, I'm just standing here on the sideline, and David Akers came off, and it was a short kick, and he was screaming at Andy, saying that it wasn't the same ball that he was kicking, that it was an extra hard ball, and he was complaining to the officials, and uh, had a little uh, yelling argument going on here on the sideline. Well, we know that the kicking balls are the K-balls as they have it. And, of course, the Tony Romo play stands up big. Will come through an official. An alternate official will sign off. Hold it in a pouch on the sidelines. That's something new. Second down and three. And Breeze is down. And Jaquay Thomas, who has been a force late in the year, gets Breeze in a loss of seven. Well, Jaquay Thomas and Trent Cole, watch both your guys on the outside. They're going to get upfield. I think Drew Brees does a good job of not turning this ball over right here because Juke Thomas it's his right hand right, right on Drew Brees' right arm. Saints call a timeout. They have one remaining.
Sean Payton was with the Giants, came in there in 99 when Andy Reid came to the Philadelphia Eagles as head coach. Prior to this year, all of his coaching had been in the NFC East with the Eagles, Giants, and of course, most recently with the Cowboys. Then how about that? Your first time as head coach, you finally leave the NFC East, go to the NFC South, and who do you get matched up with in the conference? The NFC East, of course. And in particular, Jim Johnson. How many times have those two uh, butted heads? Oh, the interesting thing is, is they know each other so well. And, you know, just from playing against each other, you know, Jim Johnson knows the play calling style of Sean Payton. Sean Payton knows what Jim Johnson likes to do with his pressure packages. So this is going to be a fun chess match to watch in the second half. And for the most part, uh, Drew Brees has escaped a lot of pressure from Philadelphia. He'll be third down and ten. Brees with a pump fake, but he can't get it off. Darwin Walker makes the tackle from behind. And a loss of three. So the Eagles now will call the timeout. Because they uh, have another chance at it. That's their second. And they're going to get the ball on the fourth down. Again tomorrow. At noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, it'll be the Seattle Seahawks who beat the Cowboys last week against the Chicago Bears, who are making their playoff debut this year. All eyes on Rex Grossman tomorrow. And, of course, Lovey Smith says that uh, 